hello friends welcome back to my channel today we are going to see an interesting tutorial on docker so we are going to see how we can set up nginx in a docker so we will go through the step-by-step -step procedure to create a simple nginx container and also how we can create a nginx container with persistent volume we will also see how we can create a sample html page and we will create our own docker image using the nginx uh, docker image and we will add this html page into the nginx container so we can host our website through nginx so let's get started so if you haven't subscribed to my channel i would request you to subscribe like the video share and comment get to start you know i'm using a docker machine which is installed on a linux centos so if you don't have docker installed please uh, go through the instruction in my channel how to set up docker okay so the first step is you know how we can uh, create a simple docker container image in using the nginx so i would like to go to the docker hub first so if i go to hub.docker.com i can search for nginx So it will list you know the image so i'm currently in the official image for nginx so we can pull the image using docker pull command so let me just go through this instruction so you will get a good understanding how we can create a container now if you see uh, host, hosting simple static content right so how to use this image so the basic documentation is you can use docker run and uh, use the nginx image and we can map our content to user share nginx html so this will be the standard location where we will have to put our html page okay so i'm not going to do this so let me just do a simple uh, nginx container so let's go to the docker machine so to just uh, show uh, i have a docker installed so this is the version of docker and the uh, system ctl status docker if you see it's running okay so i have a docker daemon running so as i said the first step is going to start a simple nginx image so nginx container okay so let's start with docker run or docker container run and uh, the hyphen d for detached mode okay and i'm going to give a name I'm going to call nginx and I'm going to use the port. So the port from the host, I'm going to use 8081. Okay, and uh, from the container, it's going to be port 80. And we have to call the nginx image. So okay, we can give the tag like latest row one dot version. So, but I'm just going to use the latest. So I'm go I'm not going to give any tag specific. So since we don't have the image locally, uh, the Docker is trying to contact the Docker Hub and it's trying to pull the image to create the container. So we need to wait for this to be completed. Okay. okay, so we are almost done. Okay, great. So let me try to run Docker PS. Okay, so now if you see we have the container running. Okay, so it's called nginx and we have the port 8081 from the local host. So to access this machine, I need the IP address of my local host, which is uh, 192.168.145.130. Okay, so let me just copy this. Let me go to our browser. Okay, I'm just going to access this uh, using 8081. Now, if you see, we have this web page. This is the standard uh, nginx home page. So it says, you know, welcome to nginx. Uh, but this is not what we require. We need our web page to be hosted. So before we get into how to do that, let me just show you where exactly this uh, web page is going to be. I need to be you know, changed. So I'm going to connect to the Docker container. So I'm going to use Docker exec iphone it and i'm going to call the container slash bin slash bash okay so i'm currently inside the container okay 
and let's go to the location with the slash user okay and go to share slash gnx now if you see we have folder called html right so let's go to that now here we have a file called index.html so let's try to read this file okay so now if we see this is what exactly we are seeing on our screen right welcome to nginx right welcome to NG if you see this page welcome so what it is actually trying to do is this page this page is what uh, the nginx is displaying to you so we need to put our website content to this location words called slash users slash share slash nginx slash html okay so let me clear out and let me exit from the container so now but this container we had to go inside the container to see these details right so there is a better way to do it like we can map this volume from the container to your local host so let's remove this container for i am i am iphone f why i'm using f because this container is running so i'm going to force the delete if you you can do it in a different way you stop the container first then you delete using docker arm okay so now if you run docker ps there are no containers running okay if i go to docker volume ls i have few volumes for sona cube which i have used it for my previous tutorials okay so i don't have any one anything for nginx so now let's create another container so i'm going to use again docker run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name call nginx and the port is going to be 081 again and 80 this time i'm going to map a volume so i'm going to call this nginx underscore data okay and i'm going to map this to user share slash nginx slash html so this is the location we saw that uh, the index.html file was there right so i'm going to map this to the nginx.data now let me just uh, call the nginx image okay great so we have the container running again which is called nginx okay and if i go to docker volume ls we can see one more volume is there now to access this volume we have to go to slash var slash lib slash docker slash volume and it's going to be nginx and underscore data okay so now you see the same file which we went inside the container last time using docker exec it's uh, available here so if i read the index.html we can see the same thing okay so if i go and uh, refresh this file it's still we are able to see this now let me try to edit this file so i'm going to use index.html and i'm going to remove these contents from here okay i'm just trying to remove these contents okay okay so I'm going to change this to welcome to NGNX Docker container. Okay. I'm going to save this file and I'm going to restart the docker okay so now if i go back and refresh this page now you see we can see that welcome to the tips for the nginx docker container so what we did is we changed the html uh, page inside the container directly from your host machine right so now let's do one thing so this is a uh, how this is what how you can do the container and you know where has to be or which location you have to put your web page right now 
in the actual scenarios you may have your own web page you developed you know through some HTML CSS scrape and all the files will be there in your uh, local machine right so you need to copy that into the container so the best way is you create all your own docker image using the nginx and you copy the content to the you know, docker container in the image itself so when you run the container using the your image by default it is going to have all the information so let's see how to do that okay so uh, let me remove the container first so i'm going to remove docker ps and i'm going to remove docker arm hyphen f okay i'm going to delete this and also i'm going to remove the docker volume okay docker volume arm data okay so i have deleted both So I'm going to use uh, Visual Studio Code Editor. This is a community edition, so anybody can use it. Okay, open. So it's good for to write HTML code. So I'm going to write a simple HTML code. Okay, so it's going to be doc type HTML. Okay, and uh, it's going to be HTML and uh, header. And then inside the header, I'm going to give a title. Title is going to be is the NGNX web page. Okay. Okay, so that should be good for the header. Okay, now let's go to the body. And inside the body, I'm going to start with the H1 tag. So I'm going to give welcome to for you in GINX tutorial. Okay, and I'm going to give an H2. enter your details here okay so I'm going to use a form so I'm going to create a form okay okay so the form I'm going to put some entries into the form where it's asked you to enter your username like that okay so it's just a sample form okay it's a, you can get it from anywhere so it's just not that complicated it's just the input uh, form okay So it's just two inputs it's, we are asking like one is for first name another one is the last name so you'll get a input box where you can write the uh, details but i'm not uh, doing any other action even if you write something it will not uh, get the data to any place because we are not giving any actions after that so let's copy this content okay let's go to your Docker machine. Okay, so let me clear out. Let me go to the home location. Okay. So I'm going to create a new folder called Docker file. Okay. All right, let me create Docker image. And let me go to the file called docker image and i'm going to create a new file called a docker file okay before docker file i have to create the html file okay so that's what uh, we want so i'm going to call this index.html so it's going to be index.html and i'm going to paste this So let me save this file so if you see we have index.html right now what we have to do is we need to create a docker file okay so i will do one thing so 
before uh, creating the docker file let me create one more folder so it should be i will call this uh, as html and i will move the index.html to slash html okay so it should be under uh, index html now okay so if i cd html you'll be able to see the index.html again so let me come out of html and uh, now i will create a file called docker file okay so now you have a docker file here and inside the html we have the content for your web page okay so it's i created simple index.html file but uh, usual website you will have lo lots more contents there so you can put everything in that folder like your web page where you can have all your data like css file you will have your views you have your images src file all those things you can put into that folder now let me edit the docker file so the first thing what we have to do is we have to call we have to get the image from nginx right so always the docker file start with the nginx sorry i always start with from and the image name so i'm going to use from and i'm going to call the nginx so the next step is in nginx after you have the image what do you have to do is so i'm going to copy the content from dot slash html so i'm going to copy the content okay from the html the whole content okay so i'm going to give star and i'm going to put that into user share nginx slash html right so what it does is whatever content you have it inside that folder html will be copied to this folder okay and the next step is i'm going to expose the port 80 okay so i think it's, that's all we need for this case okay we are not having too complicated uh, you know, scenario here so it's just simple uh, docker file we have created okay so this is how it will look from nginx copy the content to the nginx html folder in your container and expose the port 80 okay so now next step is you have to create a contain a docker image using this uh, docker file so i'm going to use docker build and hyphen t for the tag okay so i'm going to give the name of the image so i'm going to call it nginx web okay you can give some version like tag latest or something so i'm going to give latest okay and where the docker file is there the docker file is currently inside the current current folder right so i'm going to give a dot so let's run this okay so i think we have completed the process of creating the docker image so let me sorry it's going to be docker image ls so now if you see we have a new image called nginx web right and the tag is latest now what we can do is now we created the docker image with uh, the configuration what we have to do is now we can run a container the same way how the, we did it for nginx so it's going to be hyphen d and uh, the name should be nginx any name you can give which is not already used okay and the port is going to be 8081 and i'm going to map the port 80 from the container so again the port you can use anything which is not existing used and in some cases if you have some issues accessing your website please check the port is not blocked from your firewall so you need to give the exception command to add those ports into the firewall okay so this is uh, the port 8080 okay sorry 8081 and mapping to port 80 from the container now if we, we can map the volume again so it's going to be nginx underscore web okay and uh, this location should be share nginx slash html okay and the what will be the image name it's not nginx now so it could be nginx web okay so let's run this so now if you see we have a container running 
GNX web okay and it's accessible under port 8080 so now let me go back to the web page so let me refresh this now if you see we have a new web page right which is welcome to ticks for you in GNX tutorial enter your details so this is the form which I have created you can give the details here okay so this is the simple tutorial you, you see that how easily we have uh, put the website into the nginx uh, image and we are running a container and uh, we have mapped it to volume as well so let's see what the data in the docker volume so let's go to cd slash or slash lib slash docker slash volume slash nginx webs underscore data okay now if you see we have the index.html now if you see this is the html page we have given inside the docker file right and we build the docker image using this so i think you are very clear now so this is a tutorial where i showed only just one index.html but if you have your own complete web page you keep all the web page files inside a folder you create your own uh, docker image using the ngnx image you copy the, all those contents into the html folder and then you can create a container as we did it so then you will be able to run your uh, website in the ngnx okay to summarize uh, we have seen the step-by-step -step process to run ngnx docker container in a simple mode and also as a, a volume pers with persistent volume right and we have also seen how we can create our own docker image using the standard docker image from docker hub and how to copy your web page contents to the docker location like slash user share slash nginx slash html right okay and uh, lastly how we can run the nginx container using the customized image so we can have our website running using the nginx uh, customized image so I hope this tutorial is informative for you and uh, thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video, share and comment.